come vorresti essere ricordato tra cent'anni. My father was a tenor. He always do what your father is doing, so I'm a little tenor. My mother says, my son sing with a beautiful voice. I said, Mama, you say that because you are my mother. No, because I don't say that when I hear your father. <laughs> Luciano's voice was beautiful. He was just opening his mouth. Everything was easy. He was a nervous wreck before every performance. He would always say, We go to die. Can you be sure you'll hit the note? No. That is the beauty of my profession. <laughs> he was difficult at times. He had a lot of responsibilities. The local paper headlined, Luciano, come home. Pavarotti would attract hundreds of thousands of people. He became the global rock star. Mr. Pavarotti, on the road, you like to have a hotel room with a kitchen, isn't that right? You... In Rome, three of the world's greatest tenors on the same stage for the first time. Luciano called me, get well soon, I don't have competition. He led a lonely life, not being at home, not being with his family. He was crushed by injustice. He became completely obsessed by what he could do for others. I learned to love people. You're a trusting person? Are you joking? I will not exist if I don't trust people. The reason he is great is he lived those songs. The mistakes you've made, the hopes, the desires, all that comes crashing into the performance. Luciano was the one and only.